Hey kids, it's Mr. Kramer with a brand new drawing video. Today, we are going to draw something fun. Today, we are going to draw a cartoon acorn. It is that time of year. The leaves are falling, the acorns are dropping. So I thought we would do just a fun little drawing project with acorns. This project is really easy to do. All you're going to need today is a pencil, maybe an eraser, unless you have a pencil with an eraser, and that would be fine, and maybe a black marker. We'll also need some colors to finish our drawing when we're done. So let's get started. Now, as we're drawing today, feel free to pause the video whenever you'd like to catch up. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating our acorn's face. And if you look, the face is kind of like a great big U shape. So on my paper, right in the middle of my paper, I'm going to do a nice big U shape. Make sure it's nice and big. Next, I'm going to start adding the acorn's cap. The acorn's cap. So to make the acorn's cap, I'm going to draw a curved line that goes from one side to the other, like this. And I want that to touch there. It should go out a little bit further because the cap is a little bit wider than the bottom of the acorn. Next, we're going to add a nice big curved line on top that's going to wrap all the way around. Just like that. It's almost like the acorn is wearing a hat. And I'm just going to add two lines here for the little top part of the acorn. Now we're going to add a little bit of texture to the cap. Because the cap, if you look, the cap looks like it feels different. It looks like it's rougher. It's a little more rough. And the, the bottom part is a lot smoother. So what I'm going to do inside the cap here, I'm going to do just these kind of little wavy lines like this. Now when I do my waves, I want to make sure I do them kind of big, you know, just not too small. And I want the bottoms of my waves to touch this line. Take your time and do nice big waves. Now I'm going to do another set of waves but this time the bottom of my waves are going to touch the top of the waves below it. See how it's touching here? Just like that. And we're going to do just a couple more rows. Now I'm going to move on to the face. Feel free to pause the video if you need to catch up. So we're going to do some nice big eyes like this. I'm going to do two big circles just like that. I think I have this one's a little too small. And then you can add your eyes, your eye, you know, the eyeballs wherever you want. If you want it looking up, then you might want to have the eyeballs at the top. If you want it looking this way, it just depends where you want the eyes. So I'm going to have it kind of looking this way, right there. Okay. 
then we need to put the mouth in. You could do a smile like this, but I could. You could do whatever. I'm gonna do kind of like a. He's going ooh. And I'll darken that in. Just like this. Now, if you want, you can add some other things to yours. Like you could add. I might add a bow tie here. I'm going to do an acorn with a bow tie. You could always add something like that. That'd be kind of fun. Maybe some eyelashes. You could add anything to your acorn that you would like. Now when you're done, go ahead and outline your work. I think that outlining artwork, especially artwork that you're going to color, is really nice makes your artwork look a lot better. So I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to take my time and get everything outlined here. The key is don't get in a rush here. You spent all this time working on this drawing. Don't get in a rush now. Now once you get this outlined, we're going to color it in. Now it's best if you have two different types of brown. Like maybe you have a dark brown and a lighter brown. And then you want to color the top part, like the cap. You want to use dark brown for that. And then a lighter brown for the bottom. If you don't have brown, two browns, you could always use just your brown for the the bottom here, and then maybe even black you could use up here. Obviously, you can use whatever your colors you want for the rest of it. Again, this is what mine looked like. Don't forget to sign your work. It's always important to sign your work. All right. So have fun, kids. And remember, art is awesome.